Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to the first showered episode of Self Conscious. It's time to get a little self conscious about being an artist. Um, it sounds like weird and like super pretentious to be like, I'm an artist. It's also like super empowering. To be able to say that means that certain things are totally acceptable. It makes me wonder about uh, all these old school artists. Think about the painters of uh, the Renaissance era, of, of the modern era, of whatever. Think about the, the Van Goghs, of even the, the, the scientists of, of those days too. People like, like Descartes, people who were artist inventors or painters or sculptors. And you think about back in the day, what was it like in the day-to-day -day life of being an artist? Did these guys have day jobs? Did they go down and work at the local cafe 30 hours a week just to make ends meet? Were their wages as bad as the people that I know that work at coffee shops? Somehow I doubt it. But you have to wonder, like, how did these guys get by? Where do they get food? I have to worry about paying a lot of money for rent. I have to worry about paying for utilities. All of my bills. Bills, 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 bills. Bills, 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 bills. Do they have so many bills? How do they pay the bills that they had? How did they survive? Weird thing is, I don't have a day job. I did. I worked seasonally at an outdoor shop as soon as I got to Chicago. And I did need to do that. If I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have had enough money to make it through the winter. I was tremendously lucky. Once I got to Chicago, I met the new comedy. They gave me my first gig within like four weeks of being here. Tremendously lucky. I got my Bachelor of Science in Psychology for somebody that didn't go to arts school. Tremendously lucky. I'm so tremendously blessed and lucky. I cannot underline that enough for you. What's amazing is that just because I got that one thing, it opens up doors. Because of that gig, because of the people I've met through that gig, I've been already able to pick up enough work, but just, just enough work, just enough to squeak by that a day job, and that gives me all this free time. I kind of try to spend some of that free time, like, you know, making money somehow. I don't feel like getting a day job would be particularly helpful. If I got a day job, I'd want to work 40 hours a week. 40 hours of daytime out of a week is awful. The schedule of a day job is very inflexible, especially if it's a retail day job, which most starting artists go for. What I'm trying to say is, it is possible. If you're an artist, if you're somebody who's sitting in their dorm room, in their apartment, in their parents' house, and you're saying, I don't know if I can be an artist. The truth is, it's possible. You can. You may have to figure out exactly what kind of artist. To me, being an artist is about designing something. Maybe you're going to invent the newest recycling system. You're going to find a new way for people to interact with websites. Find a new way to design a soda can. Maybe your mission doesn't really seem like art in like the old sense of art, where art is, art is paintings, writing. And even that's a stretch. Dance, theater. There's way more, way more art out there. Being an artist is no longer a stigma. Being somebody who's a right brain thinker is now the most powerful type of person to be in the world. Every industry on the planet now needs artists. People are willing to think creatively, willing to think about the symphony, the, the whole, the big picture. But if you can think about how a product is going to actually affect the market, actually affect the people that use it, then you could be a designer. The possibilities are really endless. Don't be afraid to explore that. We're just beginning to understand that a life outside of nine to five is not only acceptable, but should be encouraged. I am really happy and blessed to be a professional artist of some kind. Though that, though I'm really happy, I have to say it does make me a little bit self-conscious. <laughs>